David, in trying to understand the nature of time, I'm told that we should consider time in a spatial sense, the so-called spatialization of time. That sounds, to a first approximation, completely counterintuitive. Yeah. So what does it mean? According to many continental philosophers, if you look in Heidegger, if you look in Deleuze, um, people like this, in a way, at least on their view of things, the founding gesture of the whole scientific project um, and of the project of physics in particular um, is something they refer to as the spatialization of time. That is, the way time appears in physics is as another uh, component in the address of an event. What physics aspires to tell you is how events are distributed over the, the different values of these spatial and temporal axes. At a certain fundamental level, time comes into the representation of the world that we find in physics in exactly the way space does. Um, according to lots of these continental critics of the scientific project, this move from the word go sealed off the possibility of physics ever encountering the world in a genuinely deep and interesting way. Wow. Um, um, it sealed off access to the sort of deepest and most characteristic feature of our experience of being in the world, this, this experience of the, of the temporal, this experience of something flowing, this experience of time being completely different from space. That would be the common perception, that if you eliminate time, you forever distance yourself from reality. So there must be a reason why so many physicists do exactly that. Well, of course, first of all, uh, saying characterizing it as eliminating time is being a little yeah. extreme. Time is being included um, um, as another component of the address of an event. What is missing um, from this metaphysical framework from which physics starts out are these notions of flow, these notions of passage, these notions of becoming um, so on and so Which to forth. normal people is time. Which, which to normal people <laughs> certainly is time. The trouble is that if you try to formalize these notions um, so, that, so that they're fit uh, to do jobs in a discourse that you want to be extremely clear and extremely explicit and extremely logical, it's hard to know how to do that. This is an invitation to see an artist's theory on the nature of time as a universal process of energy exchange with an emergent future relative to the atoms of the periodic table Please subscribe on YouTube and be part of the promotion of this theory that will change our view of the universe and our place within it.